Hello everyone. Today in this video I'm going to show you how to measure your pump gear clearance on a 4L80E. This is a late model unit. Um, so factory calls for uh, between 7 10 thousandths and 28 10 thousandths clearance between each of the drive and driven gear face and the face of the pump body. So we got a straight edge along with four feeler gauges, a uh, thou and a half, two thousandths, three thousandths, and four thousandths. I'm actually going to start with the three thousandths feeler gauge and then I'll jump to the fifteen thou in the event that uh, I can't get the three thou to go underneath. If I can get the three thou to go underneath then I'll move up to the four thou um, and if I can get any uh, uh, the four thousandths gauge to fit you know, underneath the straight edge at any point then I'm going to have to measure this pump because I'll judge this pump to be outside of spec. Alright so procedure is very simple um, you want to put your straight edge on multiple points and stick your feeler gauge underneath the drive and the driven gear to see um, if it'll go. So we'll start with the 3 thou gauge and I'll start up here and then work my way down. And you want to come in at a shallow angle and make multiple attempts to get the feeler gauge to slide underneath. Now if you could start to move the um, gauge, uh, excuse me, move the straight edge, then it doesn't fit. Okay, looks like it's sliding in under here, at least part way on the driven gear. And part way on the drive gear, at least in this location. I will go rotate it 90 degrees. Okay, it's again part way and moving the straight edge. So I'm pretty confident that uh, this pump meets clearance. Um, I mean, you can just do a hasty test and just rotate the gears underneath. If they rotate without moving the uh, straight edge, then more than likely. Um, assuming that your 3 thou feeler gauge doesn't slide underneath cleanly at any point, you're going to be within spec. Uh, we can check with the thou and a half gauge to see if it fits. Alright, fits cleanly underneath the drive gear at that location, as well as this location, so 3 and 9, which is fine. Okay, fits there. And it's a little tight in that area, at least on the drive gear. So let's check the driven. Okay, it fit a little bit before I yanked it away. All right, so I'm confident that this uh, pump body is good to go. Um, now, if you uh, encountered a situation where uh, you were not within spec, uh, let's just say you had too much clearance, then, because um, that's, of the two uh, scenarios, that's kind of the more preferable, um, you can just simply chuck this up on a lathe or have a machinist do it, and then take off, let's just say you were a thou or a thou and a half over, take off a thousands to one and a half thou and uh, use the same set of gears and that'll get you within clearance. Um, if you had um, not enough clearance, then that would require uh, the pocket itself to be machined and that has to be done on a mill uh, with an offset because of the crescent. So anyway, um, if you, for whatever reason you didn't have access to you know, a lathe or you, know, you, you simply didn't have time to take it to a machinist and you had too much clearance, you can just take this whole pump body stick a sheet of like 400 uh, grit sandpaper and then just move the pump body back and forth 
and then I would finish it off with maybe like six or eight hundred grit and you should be able to take maybe a half a thou to a thou off but uh, that's really a method of last resort at least for four ladies um, just because it can take quite a while uh, I would just simply have it machined or um, see if you can get a good used uh, pump body and gear set. I'm not a fan of the aftermarket gears um, and that's just I'll be honest it's just mostly word of mouth from you know builder friends of mine as well as what I read on the internet from other you know well-known well-respected uh, builders on forums and such and uh, the aftermarket gears have at best mixed reviews so uh, I prefer to use a factory set whether it's good new uh, good used excuse me or brand new um, and have the pump body machined to spec if I need to. Anyway, uh, that's 480E pumps as far as uh, measuring clearance. Uh, this is a late model pump. So late model meaning 97 and up, that'll retro back to any year. Um, 480E, 91 all the way up to 2013. You just can't prospectively install a first generation 91, 96 pump body onto a 97 pump cover, that won't work. All right, if you have any questions, comments, go ahead and leave them below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.